The devil seeks again to blot out the light of Granas. Valmar will return our world to darkness, then destroy it. I wish to send Elena to Granas uh, Cathedral immediately. It is rumored that His Holy Holiness Zera knows of an ancient sacrament which has the power to cleanse the soul of darkness. I am Selene, leader of the Cathedral Knights. We made it. We're finally here. Your Holiness Zera, please calm our anxious hearts. I want you to find the sword, the divine sword, the Grana Saber. The sword which slew the Dark One must be returned to us if the light is to be restored to this world. Then our way to the other room. It's this one, right? Heard that dinner's ready. It will be ready very soon. Please wait a little while. Okay. Another weird transition. Uh, <laughs> what good is it to chase after fancy, after fancy now that the threat of darkness is upon us? No one has ever found the divine sword. How can he be so nonchalant about matters of such weight? I must consult my arguries for some means of holding back the darkness. This is an evil sign. The day of darkness draws near. Because the light on the crystal ball turned off? This light. It's the red moon. What's Millennia doing there? Ah, the the wings of Valmar. Valmar, here in the cathedral. Someone, someone come quickly. Truly, this bread is the body's life as the earth is to all that spring from it. So, also a fine bread is loam for the soul. Jeez. Well, this bread is delicious. Mr. Yudo, are you going to eat? Rowan, Merig, I'm going to look for that damn sword. I thought you would say that. This sword interests me, for I have not before heard of its like. You two coming along? It was evermore my intent. Please, let me come along too. I could use your help. I appreciate it. If it is at if it is as His Holiness Zara says, this has meaning for me too. What do you mean? Well, you see, cut the fuck off. Damn it! Not again. We're eating. Please excuse me. I am told that Valmar has taken human form and entered the cathedral. Have you seen any suspicious persons? Huh? No, no one has been here. Please, excuse the interruption. I must go. <clears throat> must be millennia. What the hell is she thinking? Ah, I would like to hear that story. Oh, whatever. Now I gotta wander around this place looking for, uh... Let's just go to the main area. Millennia.
So, you're gonna look for the Granite Saber, right, Ryudo? You, what the hell are you doing here? You're practically standing on the dinner plate of Granis. Oh, like I care. If Granis ever wakes up, the big god can smack me stupid. Long as I get to follow you around again, Ryudo. Er, I don't think you've thought this through. See, when I find the sword, we're going to use it to stab evil people. Oh, you. You're concerned about me? No one has ever been such a gentleman to me before. Just do what you think is best. I don't think you understand what I'm saying here, Millennia. Don't worry about me. I know what I want. And if I were running out of and we're running out of time. Oh, well. Definitely ran out of time to say that sentence. What the fuck? Did I say the wrong thing or something? Well, Mr. Ryudo, have you made up your mind? One question. When we get the Granite Saber, will it belong to you or the church? And how will it be used? The sole purpose of the sword is to strike down Valmar. As such, it belongs to none. For this great hope Granis has given to all. I'll take your word for it. Time to rock. We'll find the Granis Saber, but not for the sake of Granis or the church. Ryudo! Look, I'm sick of all the suffering in the world. If Granis won't do anything about it, about it, then someone has to. Well, well, Mr. Ryudo. Elena, you should leave now as well. Your soul brims with light. Be strong in your mission. Do not yield your heart. Yes, your holiness, Zara, farewell. Lord Grana spoke to me last night. I am permitted to tell you this. Ryudo must face the past should he desire the divine sword. You should remember this. Ah, you should also take this along. It, it, it is sure to be useful. All right. Elena, take care and remember well our words. Your holiness... Ryudo, thank you for accepting this request. I wasn't going to let a dainty little princess mince and prance about without her faithful and obedient bodyguard. Oh, Ryudo, you... Miss Elena, we're together again. Our paths again are as one. It is good. Thank you, everyone. Come on, let's get moving. All right, well, moving to where? Never thought we'd travel together again. I'm counting on you, Elena, okay? I feel the same way, Ryudo, Rowan, Rowan, <laughs> Merrick, and Sky too. I'm counting on all of you. This time, it might be more difficult for us. Difficult times are indeed upon us. Welcome to, is the comfort of friends in this hour. That's right. Traveling would not be fun at all without you, Miss Elena. Well, it would be a little fun. But where we travel to? The Divine Sword is held by the Legion of Darkness. We can't just knock on their door, grab it, and run. 
I'm not familiar with this divine sword. I remember in the holy book containing a passage, people of darkness continue to hide deep in the bowels of the earth. It's a metaphor, or is this more, or is it a metaphor, metaphor, or is this more substance in it? There are more substance in it. Perhaps it is with these people we shall find the legion of darkness. Y'all, I have to admit, I'm tired of reading. <laughs> this is getting really wordy. Perhaps if we visit the kingdom of Cyrum where I lived, we might learn the meaning of these words. Got a lead? No, I, I just thought we might learn something useful. What other knowledge have we which would intimidate a course of action? Uh, something about confronting my past, which probably means Melphis. Surely it could be none but he. Melphis, a long time it has been, brother. Now, now, you two. Anyway, the kingdom of Cyrum, what's it like? Well, climate is warm and there is lots of water. Very good country. We don't need a weather report, kid. We need to find some leads. And we might as well start in the kingdom of Cyrum. The kingdom of Cyrum lies to the east of the St. High Mountains. Come on, let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. So that time we got out of we got out of this village without having to um fight any bad guys, I guess. Hey everybody, it's editor Yousef. Um so from the St. Heim from the St. Heim Papal State, I went through the mountains, Pilgrim Road, and Rowell Hills to get up to the Cyrum Kingdom. And uh, I know you guys probably don't want to see that. I don't want to see it. I don't want to watch me grinding for hours. Like, I just basically took, took out, um, like, uh, two or three hours of me just straight up grinding. And I've been doing it the whole time. But uh, this, I, I feel like saying, I feel like letting you guys know again. So we're we're uh, just basically going straight from the Saint Heim Popel State to uh, the Cyrim Kingdom. No, no, well, it, you know, no filler, somewhat. I hope you guys appreciate it. My, this town is bustling with activity. The fruit of prosperity is in abundance. This peaceful scenery is just a facade. When the time comes, its true ugly form is sure to show itself. With where we, the people of Cyrum, are known as the descendants of the people of darkness. So, <clears throat> so the granite sabers in this country? What do you mean by descendants of the people of darkness? Not like everyone is hunched over, rubbing their hands and muttering curses. You're saying that you're one of these people? Yes. Most probably have, uh, most, most probably have almost no memory of the people of darkness, but only my people can never forget. 
That is why I left to learn about the confrontation between light and darkness. Come, let's get a room first. Tomorrow we can start searching for the meaning of Zara's words. Yes, let's. First, we gotta go to the general store. Yeah, guys, I uh, did a considerable amount of grinding. Only really because my kids were always hanging around and I couldn't really do much. So I just kind of like grinded. Yippee, we got some great deals here. So yeah, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase all the stuff I can purchase and then... Boy, I'm having a good... or am I having a good time? Oh, guests! You wanna spend the night? Sorry, but I can't put you up tonight with the festival and all. Festival? Hmm? I've seen you somewhere. Oh my, aren't you the pri... Huh? What are you talking about? You seem to be enjoying yourself. What is happening at the festival? Oh, the day after tomorrow, the king himself will be holding the festival commemorating the founding of the country. I hear the king will be making an important announcement. All boys in the kingdom are to meet at the castle. Maybe they found some treasure underneath the castle and they're going to show it off. How odd. Something is afoot. Excuse me, sir. Can you please put my friends up for the night? We don't have much, so you all can stay for free. Mr. Ryudo, I must first go home. Please, spend the night here. I shall return tomorrow. Okay, take care then. What's with him? He doesn't want us to see his home or tents or whatever. There's nothing to be done. Ah, look, I can't do the voices. Let me... I kind of want to go through this a little bit faster. I'll try to, <laughs> I'll try to act the best I can. I don't know, guys. I suck at life. Anyway, there's nothing to be done. Allow the cub his privacy, for if we would be so thoughtless as to follow, his family would be awfully surprised to see our strange party. Right. Let's take it easy for him, then. I guess we have some free time. Let's check out the town. The town bustles with color. Surely there are some amongst the many who have traveled here who know of the Divine Sword. So you guys are looking for something, huh? Why don't you go to the bazaar they're holding at the Castle Square? Lots of people come from all around. Lots of people from all around? Oh, I would love to go there. Yeah, you're, you're lots of people. And you're from all around. Might be just what we need. Fables and legends hide truths which may yet be of use to us. I would hear these people's words. Ah, yes. At the back of the square you'll find someone named Hemble. He might just know something. But he's a difficult man to deal with. He won't talk to you if he doesn't like you. Difficult? What sort of person does he like? Miss, just how strong is this young man here? Well, Ryudo is very strong. I trust him completely. Okay, then listen. When you go to see Hemble, make sure he knows what a wonderful couple you are. A wonderful couple? Like I said, he's strange, but he'll be sure to talk to you. I tell you, buddy, you're a hell of a lucky guy to have a lovely girl like her. Shouldn't be too hard to play kissy-poo. M m me? N no, no, no. He's working for me. I am a sister of Granus. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> I, I know with some dismay that she's still unable to tell people are messing with her. Everybody's really well read in this localization. What am I doing? Why am I so... <laughs> Such silly words. It's Ryudo's fault. He did not deny it immediately. Oh, Lord Granus, please forgive my shameful behavior. My vagina is wet like never before, and I don't know why. He does not see. I am a sister of the church, Ryudo. 
Yes, Ryudo is just a hired hand. He should know better. Man, these rooms are spacious, man. Seriously, you could, like, do gymnastics in these things. Look at how long that bed is. I, I mean, games games from the old times, man, they, they never skimp on the beds. They make these huge places, and then they put these little teeny sprites in them. It actually cracks me up. They did that with Persona 3 as well. They put this dude's little... I mean, he, he was like a little chibi guy. Stuck his little head at the top of that bed, and it's like, I mean, I get what you're trying to do, but for real, why would you need so much bed? Anyway, I might as well go to sleep. Oops. What is this woman doing? Ha, I know. <laughs> yeah, show us that booty. Gives that little chibi video game booty. Hmm, I see. So we can no longer hide it from the people. I believe your highness's speech tomorrow will bring everyone to their senses. And what about that man? You know that random guy? Oh, so you were here, your highness. Does something worry you? Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's Ryudo's brother, Melfus. I'm surprised that uh, what's-his-name didn't smell him on the way in, because that's what he does. He smells things, and he says big words. That dude's like, I take my leave, sire. This random guy's here. I guess you don't need protection. I want to thank you. My people's wishes will finally come true. The prince's medal is no longer necessary. Oh, the one that the son, or the, yeah. The one that the boy is bringing? Exactly. Now all the fears of the people of darkness have disappeared. You may rest assured. He <laughs> he Well, don't use that pillow at all, though. I mean, I, I find that when I sleep, if there's a pillow on my bed, I just leave it there, and then I, like, scoot all the way down to the point where my feet are hanging off the edge because I don't like pillows. There's nothing, nothing, uh, nothing like sleeping on a hard-ass bed. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Elena, wake up. Out of bed. Didn't you say you wanted to go to the bazaar? Yeah, why are you being such a bitch? Because your panties are creaming? Oh, no, Ryudo, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming so hard right now over Ryudo. Ah, look at that face. What's this? Elena, you know you like Ryudo. Let him know it. I mean, he's got a six pack and everything. Unless he's like five foot three, I don't, I don't get it. <clears throat> Walks around with a sword, slaying monsters. Hadn't said anything wrong. He just doesn't like uh, religion. He's total alpha male. She's just like. Mm. Like I'm surprised that anybody would hook him hook him up with her in the um the uh the gran granis hood the priesthood because I would be like you're gonna have sex with Ryudo for sure I'm gonna spend all that time with him you're gonna try to hop on his his schlong or at least you know have some naps with him. Good thing Ryudo probably hasn't gotten laid ever. He, he, he acts like he's a virgin. <laughs> Sorry about that. These stories are so weird. I just kind of think of, of uh, when I think of vagabonds doing stuff, I think other vagabonds would initiate them into, into the lifestyle by taking them to a little a woman retreat so they can get laid, you know? 
So I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. It says, come on, get up. Hey, princess. Hey, sister. I I'm coming right now. Does she have makeup on or something? Morning. What's wrong? You all right? Well, I guess we gotta go to the back of the bazaar, right? That's, th that's right. The bazaar is held in the castle square. Take care. Come on, let's go. A moment. What's up, Mar Marig? As I understand it, more than, more than two a couple does not make. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, three's a crowd. It would be rather odd were I to accompany you. I shall make my way to the harbor while you conduct your con your affairs. Uh, he's doing the thing again. But wait, Merrick, don't leave me alone with Ryudo. Sploosh. Yeah, someone should check out the docks. Come on, what's wrong, Elena? We going or not? Uh, yes, I suppose. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm drinking too much coffee. Coffee's n never good for speaking. I used to be pretty good with it. I uh, I do my tennis lessons and stuff, and I drink coffee the whole time. But if I sit down here, it doesn't work so well because I'm usually leaning back and my uh, chin kind of. Oh, that's the port. Let me go back then. My chin's kind of like close to my chest, and oh, there's a guy there that looks like he's about that life. It just kind of crunches down on my, my windpipe a little bit, and um, 